Hello, so today is the 29th of October 2022 and I'm including the date because the dream I had was this morning of uh, the 29th of October 22. So in this dream what was happening was there was a city I was in and it was in it, it was enclosed by a big wall and had a gate. So inside the city were spies and the spies we couldn't tell, but some of them you could point it out. I think in particular I could pick out about three, but then that was because Holy Spirit wanted me to see it. And I kept on saying to the Lord, why must I see them? And he says, no, I'll show you. So I was like, okay. So they get the information they thought that was valid for them. They get up and they leave the city. And uh, something rises me up to go close certain gates like windows of the city but the windows were closed so i was like i'm going to close the curtains of the city for some reason i felt that should happen as i go i see the the general a general a lieutenant oh, a lieutenant even a general a lieutenant of the guys that were sent to spy coming to give them further information they had this jeep on and they were lying amongst the forage outside the gate and they were trying to see uh, through their uh, rifles, their, their scope um, rifles to see if they could see in. So as soon as I see them, I scream, uh, they're coming, I scream, I'm like, guys, hurry up. There are people outside the gate trying to come in with guns to kill us. So I basically screamed assassins. I was like, assassins, assassins. So I say this and um, as I go back, people weren't listening in the town. It was like the city square in a way. I, they wouldn't listen to me. And I'm like, guys, please listen. But they wouldn't listen. So they, two of them, when they heard me screaming, two stormed through uh, the gate almost looking like the door of the house, storm through the gate. I start praying and I said, Lord, please deliver us. They're here. Deliver us, Lord, because the thief has come here. They've come to steal something. I'm not sure what, but Lord, please deliver us. So as they come in and they stop, it's as if the Lord had sent angels to disarm them. So the people seeing are seeing these guys being disarmed, like their guns being taken away. And they look and they look at me and says, oh, so this is what you were talking about. I'm like, yeah, why won't you listen? Like, you guys didn't even help me. I told you. And they're like, oh, no, you know, we didn't think it was true. We just, we were so busy. And I'm like, what do you mean you're so busy? Like, what's more busy than seeing a thief? If a thief is coming in your house, you can't be busy. You've got to deal with the thief. And they're like, well, no, we, we were actually really were just so busy. It's a good thing you were here. That I'm like, I'm not always going to be here. Like, what are you guys going to do? So um, I was upset and I was really upset with, uh, I was even upset telling the Lord about it. I was like, Father, this is so messed up. <laughs> so I get it. There's people that are called to be watchmen in this season. And if you're called to be a watchman in this season, you're seeing things that are coming and you announce and the Lord calls you to go announce to the city square. No one is listening to you. <laughs> no one believes you. I'm not laughing. I'm sympathizing because I hate it so much. And then when it's happening, people are like, oh, you know, she did say. And it's like, well, there's nothing we can do now <laughs> apart from pray. Like, are you praying? If you're saying, oh, you know, pray. Let's go, let's go ask the Lord for help. So, um, I was really upset. If you're really called to be a watchman, please bring this gift to the Lord. Uh, do not despair and do not disparage because the Lord knows what he's doing. Whether people believe you or not, just stay in obedience. It, it, it's not about, it's really, I would like to see more people saved, true. But at this rate, if, we, if we're not seeing the harvest come in, it doesn't mean you're wor you are working in vain. This is the encouragement for watchmen in this part. But anyways, continue with the dream. I decide, okay, Holy Spirit tells me, okay, you're going to go up this way. So I'm like, oh. So I, as I'm leaving, I'm seeing a group of people and they're wearing like gray, like muddy clothes. They look brown and muddy and just muddy. Like, you know the muddy, dirty color, like 
they've been rolling in filth. So I see people wearing these clothes and they're all going this one direction. So I'm going an opposite direction and I go this way. So I'm like, where are they going? And the way they were so focused in, in what they're trying to get, I noticed that um, there were people on the ground and they didn't care that, like, because it, it ended up being some form of stampede. And I'm like, as much as it's a stampede, guys, there's people between your legs. You're stomping over people. So I remember trying to reach, try to pull them up, but there was just too many people. I couldn't. So I remember saying, sure, Lord. And I'm like, Lord, what are they rushing for? And the Lord shows me there was a man by the gate and he had a cup and this cup had, it was written resource, right? Or money. And it, it was a small cup. Everybody was rushing to receive pennies. And I mean pennies because it's a small cup. It's a, I wish I'd bought a mug, like a normal standard 250 mil mug, right? 250 to 300, I would say 350 mil no, 300 mil cup or um, mug. He held it like this. And they washing to this man. And I'm sitting, I'm like, but Lord, this is ridiculous. Like, they can't all get it. And the Lord says, no, they can't all. And I'm like, why don't they just come to you? Why do they all focus on this man? And the Holy Spirit says that um, they won't listen to me. They're doing what they think is right. So in the midst of chasing those pennies, they're stomping over people. I remember thinking like they look like they look like lambs to the slaughter even the cues the lines that that they were in they really looked like they were ready to be slaughtered uh really primed for 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 a killing for a reaping and all i could do was like lord please open their eyes show them show them what's happening deliver them from this evil um, I don't know what else I can do. And he just said, all you can do is pray and announce those that are willing to come out of the line will come out of the line. If you are saying like you're running the rat race, you're chasing peanuts, but you don't know how to come out. Guys, ask the Holy Spirit, ask the Lord Jesus. Seek him and he'll be found. Knock and he, yeah, he'll open for you. They really will open for you. You don't have to stampede. You don't have to compete with other people uh, to get where he to get what he has for you. And what he has for you is not the same as the next person. And that's how he blesses. The, the, it's not like he's going to give you a penny and because somebody else also wants something, now the Lord has got to cut the penny or split the penny between you and the... No, his resources are more than enough and he can help you. So I'm, I'm really speaking that over you. Go to the Lord. Uh, seek him. Seek him. The Lord says gold and silver are mine. And there's a scripture in Revelation 3 as well where the Lord says, come to me if you're looking for uh, gold. Come to me. It, it is sanctified. Come to me. You don't have uh, to kill. You don't have to steal. You don't have to, uh, uh, to destroy people's lives just to get that pretty penny so you can get more. And in that, I also would want to share with you, ask him to teach you how to be content with what he's given you. Don't compete with the Joneses. Don't compete with the rest of the world. If the Lord has given you this much, be, ask him to give you um, um, gratefulness, to give you praise, to give you peace. To say, oh, thank you, Lord, for the grains that I have this month. Thank you, Lord, for the rice I ate today or, or noodles or uh, whatever you eat that is local. You know, uh, but you're looking down, you're busy thinking, I wish I had McDonald's. Even if you can have McDonald's, even thank the Lord and you enjoy McDonald's, thank the Lord. Learn contentment with whatever you have. The Lord will bless you and your vats will never be empty. Trust me, they will be full. Anyways, guys, I bless you with this word. I hope it reaches so that it needs to reach. And you have a good day. It is a Sunday, my side, so have a good Sunday. Bless you.